Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much everyone for tuning into our stream. Right now we have, oh my God, had the wrong one up. That's all right. Right now we have streaming music and chat with Jay Towns. Without further ado, let's welcome the man himself, Jay. What's up everybody, it's Jay Towns. Thank you to Night Lab and Jacob O'Hara for having me on. We're gonna have some fun tonight, so I've heard. I'm very excited to be here, so thanks for having me, man. Of course. How have you been lately? I know we chatted. Oh my God, little little technical difficulties here. Don't mind that. <laughs> I'm flying. Yeah, I um yeah, I was super stoked to see your film that you scored and did music for earlier. Yes. Um, yeah, can you talk a little bit about that? I think it was one of your first experiences composing yeah man well it was and i have to say it was it was quite an experience i've never uh spent that time listening and watching to the same, same thing, thing over and over, over again. again um but, but it, honestly I, i'm super proud of the way that it turned out and um i think, I think the director really liked it too, too so that's so all that really mattered at the end of the day good, good film good vibes, vibes all around so, so yeah, yeah that, that, that was, was a good time. time love to hear it love to hear it do you have anything new in the works music wise Dude, I literally, tell me why I just got off the phone, like in our little break in between our our little sound check, um, I, I just got a concept going for a music video, so we got some new stuff going, definitely. Hmm. Is the song already done for that, then? Uh, it's not, not complete, no, but I'm trying to, you know, I try to pace it so that there's not too much of a time in between the song being out and the music video being out, so I kind of want to just get everything together as soon as possible, you know? Mm -hmm. It's and been I too know, long. It's been too long. Yeah. I know this is not my first time interviewing you. I <laughs> it's have not. Uh, yeah. Um, and I know I've talked to you about your sound before and where it's going, but I'm curious if if it's continued to evolve since then. Oh, oh absolutely, absolutely, man. I mean the last time we talked, that was like I definitely did not know what I was doing. I mean to be fair I still don't, but I got more an idea of the direction. Um I'm really honestly a huge fan of like the, the new like hip hop pop sound that we've kind of come to know and either hate or love. Um, I really like like artists like the, like new artists like the Kid Leroy like doing that like singy hip hop stuff. Like um, I, I think that's really cool honestly and I, I think that's like kind of where music is going next. Artists like Aries too, like alternative hip hop, um, uh, break ins like some like acoustic hip hop like. Also, also hyper pop, pop is like, like a, a, a big, big thing, but, but anyway, anyway, for me, you, you can, can expect, expect to see some more like obviously some banging lyrics, but like I like, I like to get some catchy melodies in there. Like, like I'm a pop guy at heart, I feel like, but I, I tend toward hip hop, so that's that's kind of what you can expect. But I do have a couple that you know are like a little bit more different, different. Some R and B, we got some soul, we got some we got some different stuff coming. But I'm excited for the direction overall. Okay. Okay. I do have to apologize really quickly to our viewers. I think we maybe had Jay's audio out for the beginning of this, but <laughs> I think we're all good now. Uh, <laughs> I'm pulling up the chat right now, which I've not had open. So yeah, go ahead, drop a comment in the chat if everything's sounding good right now. Um, I can, uh, they can hear it. Oh, James can hear it all. We're good. Sounded fine. Great, 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 great. great. Sounds good. Um, I'm, sounds good, literally, am I right? Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh, apparently there's a bit of echo. Um, oh, maybe it's it's probably on my on my part. I probably could change my mic setup. Um, okay, well, if it's a problem... Oh, man. The, yeah. Shout out to Carson's big fan, um, one of our most loyal uh, Night Lab followers on here. I think shout out, we, shout out Carson. Shout out Carson. Or their name's actually not Carson. Apparently, they're just a big fan. Oh, a oh, big fan of Carson, perhaps. Yeah. Or we don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Um, well, I thanks, think we should. Thanks for being. I think we should hop into a game. We have quite a few lined up for the oh, night. Boy. Um, we'll just see how this goes. This is what has become a staple on the Rip Night Music and Chat Night Lab streams. It is our Twitter game. Okay. Um, oh my god. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Big apology for these camera mishaps. Um, but there is a little bit of a story to this particular Twitter game. Um, I was going through Jay's current Twitter, 
and was seeing some great content, but not necessarily roastable content or, or you know, funny in a slightly embarrassing way content. But I did find an older Twitter account of yours. Um, let me see no. if I can find this. Um, Jay was talking about an no, older Jay. Twitter account, <laughs> which I looked to be from high school, if that's right. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know if you have anything to say about this account before we jump in. Dude, I do not. I have no idea what you're about to show me. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for this. I guess we'll <laughs> hop in with a classic question of which eye is larger. <laughs> <laughs> I tweeted that? You tweeted this, and it's my first question. Which eye do you think is larger? Um, that's a great question. So, you know, Jacob, we're going to have to take into consideration, you know, the dimensions of this picture, right? Yeah. So as you can see, this is somebody who's looking at the camera. I'm presumably taking this picture. So the eye that we see on the right side of our screen is probably the left eye. Um, keeping that in mind, I will say, even though the right eye is actually closer to us, I have reason to believe that it's also the bigger eye, not just because of the perspective, but really, like, I'm thinking that right eye is, is looking is looking the biggest, which is the left on our screen. I don't think you're factoring enough into play the glasses here and the magnification mm. that glasses can have on the eyes. That's true. And, <laughs> I mean, uh, the eyelashes, too, can have a huge effect on eye size, I feel. That's true. Just, like, really, like, you know, extending the size of the eye. I, I mean... I, I used to wear glasses, Jacob. I don't know if you found that on my old Twitter, but... Oh, we'll get to that. I, uh, we'll get to that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I know what it's like to be magnified. So I, I, I'm gonna, I'm just going to hang in with the right eye, but I, I understand we can agree to disagree, perhaps. Okay. I apologize, too, for jumping right into the deep end with this question. I know it, it might strike close to the heart. Mm. Speaking of close mm -hmm. to the heart, we have what I assume was a big moment for you. <laughs> A tough AP history exam. I want to know the story here. AP history intro got me like, um, yeah, as you can see back in uh, what is this, 2015, um, I was not very sensitive to the topic of suicide. Um, <laughs> and AP history really had me feeling some type of way. The fun fact, actually, in that AP history class, I did learn about Hamilton the musical for the first time. And I thought it was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard of. I was like, nobody would ever watch that. Um, and then fast forward to the Tonys that year. Um, and well, it was a different story, clearly. But um, dude, that AP history class was crazy. That We had a teacher who was probably the most monotonous dude you've ever met. Teaching probably, to me, was the most boring subject ever. And like, I just wanted to get out of there. Like, I, I was... We, we would just goof off in that class all the time. And I got a two on the AP exam. So shout out College Board if you're watching. Let's go. That, wow, that's great. Yeah, I, I, what, wait, which history? Was it just AP history? Is that a class? Oh, that was, no, no, it was A push, bro. AP US. Oh, got you, got you, got you. I yeah. was a huge fan. Probably my favorite of the history classes I took, just because of my teacher. Sure. Teacher will make or break the class, man. For sure, for sure. I, okay, I think the glasses may make an appearance here. I'm not certain, but I I was just confused what salty singing is. Oh my! I tweeted, "Do yourself a favor and go watch my newest dude." This is lore. This is J Town's lore that does not need to be surfacing in public. Okay, because my channel, if you notice, if you go to my channel now, that starts in 2018, but you can clearly see that the date on this tweet is. 2016. Um, it's got that classic this, iMovie title. Oh my actually. goodness. I mean, dude, wow, there's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> and, um, first of all, yeah, there are the glasses right there. I love those guys. I, but once I started getting serious about basketball in high school, you know, I went I went to contacts. Um, but and Jacob knows about that. Jacob and I, we used to actually ball out in um in the gym occasionally, um on Northwestern's campus. But you know, what I'm loving here, I I'm going to give you some lore, right? Because I'm sure you you recognize, unfortunately or fortunately, some of the things in the background of this video. But what you might not know, on that far left side uh, of the frame, that's actually a poster for my friend J JC Krupa, his first book. He wrote a book when he was in, like, 
Mm-hmm. He was like 15 and he published it. Um, it was insane. I think he literally was like the youngest um, author in America for a while. Like, Whoa. yeah, so I thought that was pretty dope. Definitely was cloud chasing with that. But um, as you can see next, we've got Halo 4, um, which was my favorite game on the Xbox, uh, right next to Minecraft uh, Microsoft version. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, there it is. Thanks for the <laughs> Zoom, Jacob. Yeah, that was. I got the poster for Christmas along with the game. My parents were like, hey, you know, we really, really think our child needs some help. So we're going to just, like, give him something to play with for a while. Okay. I love that game, dude. I, I, I play with that all the time. As you can see also, the Green Bay Packers logo right mm. there is indeed, that is not, like, a typo. Like, that, that exists um, in real life. I lived in Milwaukee for a long time, and so I actually I call the Packers my team. Um, I'm a big Aaron Rodgers fan. Um, yeah, and I guess the last thing to note uh, in this picture, um, one of the last things is the patterns you see me wearing here. That was that is not a phase. I still dress like that. Actually, it's very embarrassing. Um, I, I I still have those pants. Right? I actually will show you right. No now. way! No way! It's a great fit. Dude, I should pull the fit back out. Damn. I feel like they have a totally new context in 2021 than they did in 2016. In a good way. I feel like they've aged well. It really did. Like, I would be balling in those now, to be honest. But people were making fun of me back then. So, look, if you were watching in 2016 and you're still watching J-Town's content, big thank you to you. Guess you're back in style. That's embarrassing. (laughs) Um. (laughs) Well, wait, what is Salty singing? We didn't even... Dude, what was I even talking about? Is it a type it of was singing? like a vlog. A... Okay. <laughs> Basically, I think I was talking about how I lost to this dude in a singing competition. Like, I'm pretty sure that was it. Like, and I was salty because he was better than me, but he didn't even want to go into music. Like, he, he's like a doctor or something. Mm. Um, Which was really mad. I, I was really mad about that. I was like, damn, like, you're going to... You're going to show me up in my own game and then not even go into music. Like, that's that hurts the ego. That is super tough. Um, that's, what that, that's what that was probably about. I honestly don't remember. I think I deleted that video. It's not even unlisted. So wow. that might be... Exclusive content here on the stream. Oh, man. I love that you broke down this um, this little Halo poster here because, believe it or not, we have an entire Halo-themed Q&A portion of this based on this poster that no I saw. Way. We're here in Ragnarok right now. I was a huge Halo 4 fan. <laughs> and I just want to run by a few different um, A or Bs by you, starting with Mongoose versus Ghost. What is your opinion on this classic vehicle comparison? Dude, the thing is, I go for Ghost because I, I'm all about the the vehicles that do the most. Like, I, I was not one of those players that was, like, doing crazy stuff with the Mongoose, like, like shooting while I'm on it or like, I wasn't about that. I'm like, if the vehicle can get me to where I want to go, like that's it, period. The ghost was so smooth, like traversing <laughs> on a map like Ragnarok with the hills and the cracks and the crevices, it glided. The ghost is basically the Mercedes of the Halo world and you can quote me on it. That's super accurate, yeah. Um, just want to make sure we're catching up with the chat here, if there's anything. What's going on? What do y'all think, guys? I don't, I don't, okay. I'm not, not sure what's going on here. Some bachelor <laughs> talk, maybe? Um, wait, I gotta know, though. Were you, was this, because for me, Halo 4 was such a communal thing, like split screen with the friends in, like, the living room. Was it that, or was it an online thing? Oh, dude, it was like, so not many of the people at my school played, but, like, I played with this one dude from my school, my high school. It wasn't even split screen, but we would talk, like, we were on, on, the, on the chat with mm. each other. And then we we made friends online playing. Like, we would get people's gamer tags, you know, and stuff, and then we'd all end up, we had a huge squad that would just log on and play all the time. Like, that was our thing. I remember going to Target the day this game came out and running inside to buy it and them being like your mom's gotta buy this like this is 18 Ooh, plus and me being like mm, gotta park mom i'm surprised my parents actually got this for me because they they used to keep me like under wraps for real mm-hmm. um another classic one here we've got sniper rifle versus binary rifle i think there's an obvious yeah. answer here but dude if you don't choose binary okay, right okay. dude that shit was 
crazy. I loved having one of these in there. I was like, I am, dude, you're literally having me, next time I visit home, I'm booting up the Xbox 360 and playing Halo for real. <laughs> Man, the binary felt so powerful. By far my favorite weapon in the game. Um, I, dude, probably same. Like, I love the new additions of the new weapons in that game. Like, I was like, it just felt so good. Um, Carson's big fan says, never played Halo, is it good? I think our conversation speaks for itself there. You tell me, Carson, big fan. Um, all right, and then last one we got here, Incineration Cannon versus Rocket Launcher. Little tougher, I think. You know, it... That is that is tougher. That's a lot tougher, and I think it's because it, I never. They were there were some of those more auxiliary ones. Like I would only use that. Like they were only to be used like when you needed it. Like I would never be like just carrying around a rocket launcher just because I because I wanted it. Right. I think I think I'm gonna go with incineration cannon. Like just because of the way that I would use it. But honestly, neither of these really made it into my like my my usual rounds. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I. It's tough because the incineration cannon, the way it hits and then like spreads out, I would often kill myself. I feel like, which was a recurring <laughs> issue, but it did so much damage that I don't know. It, it balanced, I think. Right, right. <laughs> um, super glad this worked out. It could have just been a poster in your room. I had no idea if this would resonate with you, but I'm really glad it did. Oh, dude, absolutely. This was a big part of my uh, eighth grade experience. <laughs> Um, all right, what, you could play some music, we got plenty more games to do, it's really, really up to you. Dude, I love the games, keep the games coming, this is hilarious. All right, let's, hmm, I am really, uh, okay, we're, we're playing this classroom improv game. For fans of the stream, we have done this once before, this one will work a little bit differently. Last time, uh, we had, uh, two artists on, who, um, we improv that they were in front of the class presenting um a powerpoint slide that they did not had not seen before and they just had to roll with it this time my lovely roommate james pollard has thrown together some slides for us that i have not seen so jay and i will be in tandem presenting this to the classroom we this have five slides not including the title slide um and yeah i think we can just hop in if you're feeling good jay let's do it man all right let's get it um uh thank you mrs smith for uh giving us this time to present for the class we're super stoked we've spent a lot of time researching this one um so let's just throw up that first slide here yeah yeah so it wasn't easy but we ate it um yeah jacob and i you know as you guys know we are the best skaters in the class yeah i'm talking about you thomas no we're better than you shut the fuck up yeah sorry uh language maybe i don't know um but uh yeah so we were on the slopes the other day and jacob and i uh jacob tell him about tell him about the uh the, the big one the big yeah one. yeah no well i think the thing about this story is it works on so many different levels i think i think you're getting ahead of yourself jay because a big part of it was what we ate before the slopes. I would oh, say. Oh, right. Um, right. I'll, yeah. I'll toss up this next slide here real quick. Uh, you can you can take that one away. Right, right. Because, well, keep in mind, right, like, we're whipping Jacob's mom's, like, Honda Odyssey. Like, we're talking 2003. So, like, those tires were not getting us places. Like, and, and so you have to keep in mind, like, we were already doomed from the start. And... And to make matters worse, obviously, slippery, icy roads, bad tires. My mom, Don't obviously, um, is driven California roads her whole life, did not know the snow. And we were eating pizza while we drove, which I would not recommend. Right. But um, no. that was but just shout out to Teresa, if you're watching this. I love your mom, dude. Like, I, I told you that so many times. Like, she already, she gives us, like, the best snacks. And stuff, but anyway. For sure, for sure. Uh, we'll just get this next one up here. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, hands up on the stream if you've seen Shrek. Yes, so 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 what was it? What was it that Shrek said in the field? Yeah, ogres have layers like what? Like onions, right? Onions. And so here I am looking at Jacob. This is really this is actually picture picture of me looking at Jacob in the car right now because I'm like, dude, 
you put onions in the food that we ate before, you know what onions do to me. I was like, dude, you gotta be kidding. Like, I, he knows that. Okay, I don't, Jay, I don't appreciate you calling me out like this. I could have sworn you'd said garlic. Dude, I, they don't. Onion. They don't look similar, but they feel similar. So I feel like I should get yeah, a little bit of In a strange way, like, they're not the same at all, but they have, like, very similar qualities that like, they, like, do to food. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, to my we body, can, Jacob, and to my body. We could have a whole presentation on onion garlic dichotomy, but um, yeah. They, so we got to the slopes. Jay's stomach was not feeling great. He not ate feeling great. That did not agree with him. Um, yeah, and I mean, as you can see, you can you can reasonably infer what happened next. Um, this is an actual real life picture of the inside of my stomach as I'm going down the slopes <laughs> at. 40 miles per hour, perhaps 42 if I was pushing it. Um, and he was. Yeah, it's, and he was. it's not looking good. It's not looking good uh, for us on the slopes and inside my body. And to make matters worse, Jay's not feeling good. We're on these slopes. Little did we realize the U.S. qualifying championships for snow, for men's freestyle, freestyle snowboarding was happening on the slope next to us. We had no idea. We meandered our way over to the half pipe. And oh man, from there, I mean, it was just, it was just, <laughs> it was just not not looking good because because it just so happened that this group of people that were actually professionals, um, going down the same slopes that we are, um, it was actually a group from Montana. Um, yeah, I bet you're like, what Montana? Yeah, it's a state. Look it up. And even though you think about the South when you think about cowboys, it was actually. Cowboys from Montana who were just yeehawing their way down the slopes with us. Meanwhile, I'm basically like doing hate crimes by just <laughs> vomiting all over all of them. I mean, it's really not a good look. And uh, one of the guys, I mean, slipped and his his cowboy hat fell off because he slipped on my puke. It was disgusting. Sorry, I should have put a trigger warning before that. No, no, um, no. And and Jay hit the floor. <laughs> Obviously, he was not prepared for this half pipe hit the floor, ate it, you could say. And luckily, there were a flock of cowboys there to help him back up and say, pick your head up, your cowboy hat is falling. Yeah. And that brings us to yeah. this final slide here. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, you could, you, could, you could even take this twin away, like, from the beginning, man. Like, I could, well, it's, uh, people associate, it? people associate, John Mulaney with with Chicago, right? Chicago, right? But, right, right. but he was actually born in a Montana hospital, and has deep roots in the Montana ski snowboard freestyling community. Um, That's true. And yeah, so and he was there. Yeah, you might you might be thinking actually like, oh, the Montana ski slope freestyling community, as in like slopes and like boarding, but really we're talking about like he could spit like. He could spit mad bars, John Mulaney. Like he was, yeah, he was funny, whatever. Like voice actor, like comedian, talent, whatever. Like, but that man actually was like doing it to him, as in like tearing them a new one. On um, so it was crazy how he would just be like freestyling while he was freestyling down the slope. You know, he really inspired me, um, and that's why, and that's why I still ride today. Um, yeah. Thanks, thanks, y'all. Wow, we killed that. Dude, I mean, it was all, it all happened. So, I mean, it, it's really great to relive this. And, and again, thank you, Mrs. Smith, for letting us present on this. Yeah, I, yeah. Crazy, this all happened when we were like seven or eight, too. Yeah, like our, your mom really just let us go <laughs> Montana. Like, yeah, 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 weird. Dude, that's why, dude, your mom was awesome. <laughs> okay, okay. You've said enough about my mom. Yeah, um, it's true, it wasn't true. <laughs> Wow, that was great. Well, I'll throw us back on this Q&A slide. Um, see if there's any chat we've been missing out on. Oh, yeah. Onions have layers, garlic doesn't. You have me, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> OK. I think we should have a little music break. Yeah, if that, yeah. If that works for you. No, I, I, I thought you'd never ask, Jacob. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I've got 
I've got my my guitar here. Nobody look. I'm glad you can't see how dirty my room is. Um, but you can imagine. So, all right, guys, look. I told you guys I was bringing some new vibes to the music lately. Um, and most of the music that I'm making right now is actually like hip hop inspired. You know, we've got some uh, nice melodies and we've got you know some fast speaking and you know how it is in, the, in the rap. But I thought. I would bring you guys something different that I've been working on. Actually, nobody's heard this. I just am right, just now deciding, like, yeah, I guess I could do that. Um, so I'm going to play a song that I'm still working on. Can you still see me, Jacob? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put you full screen in a second. Oh, fantastic. You know me. I, lo I love the big screen. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, this is a song called I – I don't even know what it's called, so I'm not going to say it, but um, – this is a song about, all right, you guys ever been in a situation where like you really like somebody, it could be like platonic or it could be like romantic, you know, but like you really like somebody, but you don't want to like push it too much. Like you don't know if they exactly, maybe you just met them, like you think they're cool, but you don't know how much they're into you. So you don't want to like be too much. Um, so that's kind of what this song is about. It's like, yo, I just like, I really like you, but... I want to take it slowly because I don't want to mess this up. You know what I mean? Um, so without further ado, here we go. J Towns, everybody. She is always on my mind. Think about her all the time now. I want to pause and rewind. Memory lane, take a drive now. She knows she one of a kind. In the rush, she is a diamond. Delicate, she like the China. Heaven said she like my Bible. I'm trying to make that girl mine. I never knew someone finer. I know I could treat her right. Wiping her up when the time come. Every day I remind her. This thing we got is divine. Uh, when I'm with her, ain't no time. Uh, I just want to take it slowly, slowly. Uh, get into a rhythm. Hold me, hold me. Uh, you could be my one and only. Only, uh, I just wanna take it moments, moments. I just wanna take it slowly, slowly. Get into a rhythm, hold me, hold me. You could be my one and only. I'ma take it every moment, slowly. We go back and forth, just like the ball on a tennis court. She keep me going, my life support. Loving on her, feel like I'm immortal. We've been here before, I'm feeling low on my energy. She come over and replenish me. Loving on her is my remedy. How did I ever live without you? Only thing I ever talk about is you. Your love is like a dream come true. If you ever leave me, I don't know what I'm going to do. Ooh. Ooh. Every day I remind her, this thing we got is divine love. When I'm with her, ain't no time. I just want to take it slowly, slowly. Get into a rhythm, hold me, hold me. You could be my one and only, only. I'm a taking every moment, moment, because I'm a, I'm a wanna take it slowly, slowly, uh, get into a rhythm, hold me, hold me, you could be my one and only, I'm a taking every moment, slowly, yeah. Um, so that was a new one. I'm um, dead. It was so good. It was so good. Oh my God. Thanks, bro. Thanks. You know, I, I actually feel like I was kind of getting back to the, I don't mind kind of sound like kind of like a little bit slower, you know, a little bit more groove to it. Um, but that's a, that's a new one. Not released yet. I don't even know what I'm going to do with that one, but I just like, oh, that'd be good to perform. You know, I loved it. I feel like it was the perfect song for like you and a guitar like that little less produced like 
roots kind of yeah. sound like, was so good. Script, you know what I mean? Like sometimes, Jacob, I get so caught up in making all the beats and like making sure they slap, but I'm like, what's the content of the song and why would somebody like replay it? You know, like I feel like people can like really um they can relate to that sentiment. I, I think of like not trying to like you like somebody, but you don't really want to go for it too much. So. Um, yeah, wait, I just, um, got a couple, I see some questions. Um, yeah, uh, I love this from the heart, J Towns. I'm really into it. And, you know, I've been getting insecure sometimes. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so first, first of all, yeah, I did write it myself. I do want to say though, like I write all my stuff myself, but I do consult help from my friends. Like my friends are super talented and like, so I will, I, I trust their discretion too. So I frequently will um, hit my, my friends up and be like, yo, does this phrase make sense? Like actually, you know, I'm, I'm really divulging a lot right now, but let me tell you one of the lyrics that I really, really consider putting in this song. And my friend was like, yeah, um, don't do that. And I'm glad they said it because it was cheesy. Um, so, you know, you got the rhythm, like, I just want to take it slowly, get into a rhythm, hold me. And I'm like, what am I going to say? And I literally, I wish I could make this up, but this was actually an idea that I thought was good for, like, two hours. Um, she's a keeper. She's my goalie. Bro, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just felt like, you know, my friends were a little cheesy, you know, and, and my friends kept it real with me, they're like, yo, Jay, you got some great stuff coming sometimes, but really, I don't know what you meant by that. I was like, you know what, that's, that's a valid point, and so, yeah, I write all my stuff, but like, it's not a one-man show, I'm always asking people about their opinions and stuff, because I, I really, I hold them, um, to be serious, like, I trust people's opinions, you know, they listen to my music, they probably have opinions, so. It it takes a big artist to have ly have a, a lyrical breakthrough like that and leave it on the cutting room floor, but I think it shows a lot of restraint. <laughs> Dude, I, I do love wordplay, man. I mean, I've, I've been, I've been that's, that's why I've been, been in hip hop, hip -hop a lot recently, recently just because like, like, like I feel, I feel like, like so those of you who don't know, like I'm a musical theater major. It's, it's wonderful. I love performing, but like, there's, there's something, something different that comes with hip hop, hip -hop and like. like lyricism and poetry and wordplay it's like a different level of like artistry to me and that's really been speaking to me recently so i love singing and stuff but i'm really like kind of trying to sink my teeth into that culture because i really really like that right now like maybe it's just phase but we'll see um so yeah that that's that on that so i, I do write my stuff um, but i always get help and then when did i create this like Sometime last month. It's very, it's very come and go for me. I wrote most of this in one day. Um, and when is it dropping, dude? I, I don't know. Like this one, I actually was trying to work with some other producers on because I produce all my stuff too. But I've been trying to branch out a little bit, just, just, just like with anything. Like once you want to take something to the next level, you kind of sometimes realize that you can't do everything yourself, and it's, it's hard for um. It's hard for me because I like to keep like all of the creative liberty of my stuff, but like. I think to myself, I'm like, yo, if I want to make it to the next level, it's like Justin Bieber don't make all his songs. Like, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I think I'm, I'm working on taking that step. So I don't know when it's dropping, but it will come out eventually. So if you, you keep, if you stay posted, you'll, you'll see it eventually. If you, uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram and stuff. I put all my updates on there, my stories. I've been trying to do, um, actually, I've been trying to engage a lot more on my stories. Recently, I just did a breakthrough um, of like story viewership. And I realized it came with interaction. Like, when I ask people to like interact, you know, like on a poll or like, what do you think about it? Like, people really like that. And, mm. and so I'm trying to get back into the YouTube too, because that was a great way to like communicate with people and hear their ideas. I, I, I love it. I love the collaborative nature of it. Any artist or creator that says that they just do everything themselves is lying. Cause it's, it's all about what your audience and your fans and your friends like give you to work on, um, to work with. It's wild how like diverse you have to be across platforms i feel like to keep people interested especially for someone who does a lot of stuff their, themselves i can't imagine yeah dude it, it's, it's a, a lot, lot for sure. sure um but like i don't know i i we'll get there when we get there you know i feel like we're 
we're at that point in the conversation now where we were before when I was like, I don't even know what kind of music I want to make. It's like, mm. now I know what I want to make, and now I'm like, how am I going to make it, you know? Mm. So, so we're, we're making, making progress. progress. Maybe, Maybe next year, year Jacob, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll be somewhere, we'll we'll be somewhere different, different, you know? When we do our third um, interview. <laughs> Right, Complete the trilogy. Right. You know, the yeah. annual J uh Jacob <laughs> O'Hara uh, collaboration. Yeah. Dude, actually, you know what I was thinking, Jacob, this would honestly be such a good idea. Um, or let me know what you think about this, but I've been thinking about doing a, I don't know, we don't really have that huge of a music scene at Northwestern, so I don't know exactly, but I'm like, it would be so dope to have like an artist or like entertainment or, or music. Um, like, like basketball, basketball game. game. You know how like, like you know how like the the celebrities will like play in games together. Yeah. And, like I think we could do that here. Bro, you just want to go music. out there. You just want to go out there and like sauce on some people that don't know how to play basketball. That's what I'm hearing hey, right now. No. <laughs> I mean, come on. I've seen like who there are like those celebrities that are known for actually being like baller. Mm. Um, like I think, huh? Justin Bieber. Is, is he good? I remember seeing him play. I think also, I mean, I don't know how we feel about him on his Twitch, so I won't, I'm not endorsing him, but basketball, I heard Chris Brown was actually really good. Um, and like, just random stuff like that, like, um, but no, dude, I actually think that'd be hilarious. I think that'd be a, a really fun time. I'd make a YouTube video about it, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. It makes me think of like, um, I don't know if your high school did this, but like senior faculty basketball games where you're oh. just seeing people you know, like, yeah. Dude. Absolutely. I always wanted to do that my senior year. They got rid of it when I was like a freshman. So I never played against the faculty. Oh man. Also the faculty always won. Yes, us too. Okay. They Are you like what? They had a rule like basketball players couldn't play, so we like coached. I feel like we would have easily won if if we were playing, but I don't know. Oh basket oh, oh, basketball players couldn't play. Okay. No, our our faculty would beat our players. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, we were we were we were not bad either. Like we were, we were decent. We just had like a couple coaches was dunking on us for real. Yeah, I was gonna say you always see on Hazza highlights like those like PE coaches dunking on kids in senior faculty games. <laughs> right. Oh man, that stuff is so funny. I also thought like another kind of kind of piece of content like that just because. I think it'd be hilarious and like fun to watch from the outside, but really fun to watch if you know who it is. Like, um, doing like a roast or something. Like, I was imagining that that could be hilarious. Like, maybe get the blackout involved somehow. Like, I think that would be a really fun, um, like a J Towns roast. Like, maybe for my birthday or something. I, I, I think I'm thinking about putting one of those together. I don't know. Oh, that'd be super fun. I I was thinking there's this great podcast which this segues us wonderfully into our next uh, uh, improv game. But um, there's this great podcast called The Great Debates where they have super funny topics. It's just like two dudes who write for like uh, The Office, wrote for The Office, The Good Place, like a Veep, stuff like that. And they just debate okay. really funny topics. And I feel like it would be another good like format for a improv -y sort of show at Northwestern. Um, but yeah, you should, you should make some of these things happen. Yeah, no, I think that's, I think that's a great idea. Sorry, I just put my guitar away, but... Um, yeah, no, I, I think that's a, that sounds fun. I, I, I once, once in a blue moon, I did start a podcast. It has four episodes. Don't find it. Don't look for it. It's terrible, but it does exist. And these things make us stronger. Um, <laughs> more, more diversification. Um, okay. Wh okay. What would you prefer for this next? So we have two options here. Presidential challenge you are well you know well no 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 we won't presidential challenge you're at the podium you know the like presidential giving a press conference podium i toss sure. some scenarios at you you gotta you gotta present or we also have one minute debates where taking inspiration from the great debates we throw up a topic we throw up a one minute timer you and i go at it up to Dude. you they they both sound great, but I like the I like the back and forth of the of this of the latter. So I think okay. let's go with that. Okay, let's do it. Um, new segment on the on the stream here. Um, had to hype it up with this <laughs> this boxing <laughs> background. Um, okay, I'm not I have. Taking it easy on you, by the way. What's it? I'm not taking it easy on you, by the way. Oh, because of course you're hosting not. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna smack you down for real. Yeah. 
Uh, I have seen these topics, but I wrote them probably five minutes before the stream. And you can choose a side. I'll let you start. You choose a side. Okay. Okay. Um, and you know, clock management's a big part of this sort of thing. But uh, you know, give me some time to speak, <laughs> please. No, I, I got you. I got you. All right. Um, I'm gonna throw the first top up and start the timer. A pet bird is better than a pet lizard. Whatever side you want. I'm gonna go with. Pet lizard, um, gang. Okay, well, um, tell me, tell me a cool trick that your lizard can do, because my bird can fly and um, ride skateboards, because I see that oh all the time. Oh my god, Wait, that's that's so crazy. Yeah, your bird. Well, let me guess, your mom gave your bird the skateboard, right? Yeah, that's really cute, Jacob. Clearly, see, the you're thing not a is... bird talk. Just saying. <laughs> Dude, lizards are objectively better pets because. If somebody breaks in, your bird's just gonna be like, ah, intruder! But your lizard is going to be like, yo, spitting fire at somebody, you know, like a dragon. Dude. That's my, I have Dude. a pet dragon. Someone Jacob. breaks in, uh, they trip on the, the cord to the heater and the lizard dies. The lizard dies. <laughs> <laughs> somebody gets hungry when they come in and they eat your bird. That's a, that's an L, Jacob. That's gross, that's gross. Okay, that was a fierce fight. That was a fierce fight. I would love to okay, see okay. some some comments in the chat of who won. But <laughs> can either of them feel love? <laughs> <laughs> that is a real question, Miranda. <laughs> an important one, too. Um, okay. Canon, think about that. We'll let our viewers decide and just hop into this next top here. How are we feeling about the one minute? Was it enough time? Oh, that feels good to me. That feels good to me. Okay. Did um, you feel like you had enough air time, Jacob? I know I talk a lot. Okay, okay. This one I'm excited about. Um, so this one's a little different. It's a provable top. There is an answer that we'll find at the end. Um, but it's, oh, God. we have to debate that the other person more recently ate a candy bar. No, you're not talking about yourself. You're saying why you think I ate one more recently than you. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, uh, let me reset the timer real quick. All right, let's get it. Yeah, so the thing is, Jacob, I actually know you ate the candy bar because you thought your camera was off in between our sound check and now, but actually you okay, ate a candy okay, bar okay. right before this step. Sorry, sorry, Jay. I, I, I should have mentioned, this is not an improv game. We're not making things up right now. This is actually factually based. So. Oh, that's funny. No, that's super funny, Jacob, because I literally saw it like with my eyes. So. Okay. okay, well... Yeah. Actually, the, in that case, the reason I brought this up is because um, I noticed in a uh, Twitter post of yours that you mentioned exclusively eating candy bars for breakfast, which I thought was weird. And I didn't want to call you out on it, but I thought maybe I would just do a debate top where we could casually talk about it. I, if, we're, if we're pointing out things like that. I said that I ate candy bars for breakfast. Yeah. I... I mean, Jacob, you know, if you'd like to drop some receipts, I, I don't, I don't, I have no recollection Time of is, this. We have 10 seconds here, man. Here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. We know that Jay loves a sweet. Tell me what I'm wrong. Tell me you don't love sweets. I mean, I, I do love sweets. I do, but. At the clock, at the clock. Buzzer beater. Buzzer beater. Oh, of course you're bringing up the buzzer beater because the only thing Jacob talks about nowadays is one time we played pickup and he had the last shot of the game. I think it's the only thing he thought about since we talked freshman year. The debate was over, man. You didn't have to do me like that. Um, <laughs> when's the last time you had a candy bar? Dude, um, candy bar? Okay, this definitely doesn't count, but the closest thing I had to a candy bar was my roommate just went to Ikea and got one of these, like, like, flat cakes like it was basically like it was basically a round candy bar and like i had like a slice of it okay what um, is this? It, it was reminiscent of like a like a like a um those chocolate wafer things you know what i mean like the like a nutter butter kind mm -hmm. of. not a nutter butter what the you know the the things you the, the two um you know you know what I'm i know about? what you're talking about yeah yeah oh okay there's they usually come in like a chocolate strawberry vanilla i feel like yeah, yeah, like those things. And that, that was like a candy bar for me. Carson wants to know what you mean by candy bar. Yeah, funny how you skipped over Miranda's comment where she said I won, but just going to throw that out there. Woody, <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, that okay. sounds like a 
I don't know if it this was. It was like around Kit Kat. Carson's big fan. When was this? This last night. Last oh, night. Oh. So, wow. AKA before you ate your candy bar. Yeah. Well, okay. I was gonna say that I had a like mini like tiny Kit Kat like this over the weekend, but. I mean, it doesn't even, I was going to say it might not be a candy bar, but it sounds like you had something last night, so. <laughs> no, um, actually, yeah, I actually did have, I mean, if that counts, it wasn't a, it wasn't a candy bar, but it was like, you know, a candy circle. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, uh, I'm going to toss up this next one here, if that works for you. Yeah, let's do it. This one has no text, image only. Oh, oh, wait, wrong thing. Um, but I think the topic will be self-explanatory. Dude. You different got it, game. Man. You got it. Game. We're going. Dude, I'm so all right, so what which one of you you can pick. You can okay. pick. Okay. Wait, hold up. Please start this over. Before we start, do you have strong opinions here? N no. Not okay. exactly. I, I can I can pick a side and argue it though. Okay. I'm gonna let you pick. Because I do have a strong opinion, but I think I think it's more fun. It feels more okay, fair. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so I'm going to go. For people who don't know, this is LeBron James and Michael right. Jordan. Heavily debated topic. All right, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm straight up. This might be, you know, uh, millennial of me, but I, I'm going with George. I'm, I'm going with LeBron. I'm going with LeBron. All right. I'd love to see you try. LeBron James carries teams to the finals consistently any team he's on ends up making it there whether he wins or loses is not up to him entirely he's going to be one of the greatest players of all time no question but he's also definitely going to pass scoring let's let's, let's lay out for the sure. facts let's lay out the facts for the viewers mj has six rings lebron has four 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 three yeah four four um, four 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 rings though oh so you're talking about like quantity because like that's not even Quantity is only can only get you so far. It's about the quality of leadership and performance consistently. Okay. How about this? How about this? How about this? Performance wise, there's two aspects to basketball. There's an offense and a defense. I do not see any defensive player of the years on LeBron's yeah. resume. I see quite a few on Jordan's. <laughs> we know for a fact that offense and defense are not equal. In this scenario. The best offense is a good defense. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Yikes. One minute's not enough for this one. <laughs> Yeah, that one would, that one could take a whole a whole podcast. Yeah, yeah, and it, honestly, it's overdone. It was cheesy of me for, to to include it in the first place. You know, you really you really got me with that one, Jacob. Um, <laughs> thank um, you, Ivan, um, about the fit. It's probably one of my favorite hoodies. Um, I got it at Urban. Actually, it's one of the only things I've ever bought at Urban Outfitters, and honestly, it was worth it. Uh, the. <laughs> You do not want to listen to my podcast. I'm trying to find a link, but I can't. We can drop you, you it. Won't, you won't find it. I mean, <laughs> it's honestly not hard to find, but I, the SEO is probably not good on it at all because I don't put it anywhere else. Hmm. It's on Spotify, though. I mean, if you find it, I won't stop you, but I'm not going to show you where it is. Um, I think it would be great if we could end on one more song if you have it in you. Ooh, do I have it in me? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um. um but first, if you will um, indulge me, I had three presidential challenges. I would love to do one. Really? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, just because of this setup that I'm stoked about here. Um, <laughs> Yo, so let's go. I had three different um, topics, but I'm, I think we just have time for one. I'm just going to go with my favorite here. Um, All right, here we go. Okay, so no you, you, okay, we have a small graphic here. Um, you are the president of the United States. Um, mm -hmm. you have found a new sandwich combination in the White House that you think people need to know about. The sandwich is up to you to decide. You don't even have to disclose what's in it if you don't want. But just a little character motivation. Motivation. You understand that this might be a waste of people's time, but you really think you've stumbled on something special and that people will appreciate a president who cares about the little things like sandwich mm -hmm. combinations. Please take it away. Uh, my fellow Americans. I come to you today uh, to talk about uh, something I've found in the White House. Uh, now, I, I think that people don't understand uh, wh wh what goes on uh, in the White House sometimes. And I, I, 
I'm here to bring that to you. You see, I found this sandwich. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. It's no ordinary sandwich. It's a sandwich for you. It's a sandwich for me. You know, it's even a sandwich for the Republicans. Yep. You see, this sandwich will bring us all together. And I'll tell you why. Tell me, have you ever visited the Krusty Krab? Really, really visited the Krusty Krab. Well, well, I got the fry cook uh, work in the White House with me, the president. Uh, so what we're going to do is mass produce these. Uh, what do you call them? Krabby Patties. Krabby Patties. Um, and uh, we're going we're gonna to be distributing them uh, in your local markets and uh, in your subways. And when you get there, uh, tell them President J-Town sent you, uh, and it's on me. And we'll just add it to the national bill. Uh, and you have my promise. You have my guarantee, uh, America. Thank you. Where did that, that, imp that impersonation come from? That was so good. You know, <laughs> there are two things that I'm good at. Uh, one of them is, no, there's one and a half things that I'm good at. One half of that is music, and the other one is a Barack Obama impression. Um, it's really all I have to my name in this, in this hoodie. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that means a lot to me. I'm so glad we got to experience that. We were so close to skipping over it. <laughs> um, I'll give you the stage, man. I'll close this out. All right, dude. Guys, thank you all so much for watching this. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did because I certainly had an amazing time. Um, before my last little song, I will say, uh, follow me on Instagram. I would love to, you, you send me a DM, tell me you watched the, um, the, the stream. I'd love to hear what you thought about it. And like, if you mess with my music or if you just want to have a chat, like I'd love to, um, that's at J towns on Instagram. And you can find me on social medias, like, you know, Facebook, you know, Spotify, my music's on there. But anyway, uh, here we go with one more song. You know, this one's for Jacob. This one goes out to Jacob. Uh, we're gonna give you a rendition of uh, I Don't Mind. Um, <laughs> here we go. I don't wanna get messed up. I just wanna know what's up. I'm not trying to make a fuss. Silence can be dangerous. You've been messing with my trust. Play with me like toys are us. Now you acting kind of sus. Got me making songs like Rush. Been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. I'll never be doubting, I'll never be doubting. I can't live without it. And if you need a little more time, give it more time. I'll wait, got no time line. Tell me what's on you. Mind. If you don't want to talk, then we'll just buy. Cause I've been feeling rich, spending all this time. And I don't mind, I don't mind. You can let me know what you need, yeah. I could be the thing that you need, yeah. Think about it, I don't really need, ya. Yeah. I'm just really out here trying to please, yeah. Inconvenience, no demeaning, no the feeling, but I'm not about that. If you want me or you need me, know that I'll be around the corner ASAP. Been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. I'll never be doubting, I'll never be doubting, I can't live without it. And if you need a little more time, give it more time. I'll wait, got no sunlight. Tell me what's on your mind. You don't want to talk, then we'll just vibe. Cause I've been feeling rich, spending all this time And I don't mind, I don't mind Tell me what's on your mind If you don't want to talk, then we'll just ride Cause I've been feeling rich, spending all this time And I don't mind, I don't mind Jtown, Thank you. Everybody. Follow the nightlife on Twitch. Follow at Jtowns on Instagram. 
and we will see y'all next Wednesday for our next music in chat. Thank you, everybody.